Hey guys, so today is going to be a recipe, and I don't do cooking videos very often, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It is for broccoli cheese casserole. So first, of course, we need ingredients. What would broccoli cheese casserole be without broccoli? And rice, that is two cups of white long grain rice, instant is fine. Chicken broth, four cups to cook the rice in. And one can of cream of mushroom, any brand will do. One can of cream of chicken, those are both small cans. And then one cup of milk to mix that. I use 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese. Any cheese will do, this is just the best one I feel like. That is a quarter onion and a few squirts of garlic. A couple tablespoons of butter. And then of course salt and pepper to taste. A lot of this stuff is optional, but I just feel like the more flavor in the beginning that you use, the better off you are. So first we're going to use a three-quart uh, pot, and I'm going to go ahead and put the two cups of rice in there. And then, like I said, you're going to need four cups of water or chicken broth. I prefer chicken broth because it gives the rice a lot more flavor without you really having to do anything. It just automatically gives the rice flavor. So um, that's just one whole container right there. And then a little bit of salt. You actually don't need much salt. I use the light salt and then give it a quick stir. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the oven or the stove on medium high heat and cover it. You want to let it boil and let it sit there for uh, 20 minutes. And then once the 20 minutes is up, let it rest and turn off the heat. So while that's cooking, you want to go ahead and put the broccoli, which is frozen broccoli. You can definitely use fresh. But put the broccoli in a pot with some water covering it and let that slow boil. In the meantime of that, we're going to go ahead and take a skillet. I'm using a stainless steel skillet, which I feel like is just the best um, in general because it heats all the way around. So I'm going to put the two tablespoons of butter on there and just make sure you stir the butter and keep it on low heat because the butter burns very easily. So as you can see here, I'm just constantly stirring it, let, letting that melt, and then I'm throwing in my onion. And I use a white onion. You can use whatever you want and garlic, and you can use fresh garlic as well. These all burn very easily, especially the garlic and butter, so make sure you're stirring that. Once you've got a good brownness to it, after you've continued to stir it, I think I cooked it for maybe, I don't know, a few minutes, maybe seven minutes, and I'm stirring the broccoli in between to make sure everything gets boiled. I came up with this about like I said seven minutes ten minutes um, the garlic started to brown and not burn so now I'm gonna add my both of my cream and mushrooms right in there and I have the skillet on low heat so nothing burns and I'm also adding the milk so once you've done all this you want to just kind of stir it all around I probably let it sit there for a good ten minutes just because I had it on very very low heat just so all the clumps could get out. So now while that's resting and I've stirred the broccoli, my rice is done. So you just wanna open it up to make sure all the liquid is out and like I said, move it from the heat. You wanna let it sit there from the heat for about five to 10 minutes. Now, this is a good consistency for the base of the cheese sauce. So now I'm gonna start pouring in that Velveeta. It's really easy to burn the cheese if you don't stir it or if you have it on too high heat. So I'm just gonna to continue to stir that. The broccoli's done, go ahead and strain it, and what I like to do is just leave it sit there in the sink so that all the water can come out of it because you don't want your cheese sauce to be too liquidy. So once the first third of the cheese is kind of melted, you want to go ahead and add the second third and then, you know, so on and so forth. Stir that around once it's melted, add some more. And in that meantime, you want to go ahead and start your oven on 350. That way, uh, when you're done with the dish, you can pop it in the oven. So the rice is done, I'm just going to take off the lid and give it a quick stir just to make sure the bottom hasn't, you know, got stuck and none of it burned or anything like that. It actually came out perfectly. So the cheese sauce is done, I've mixed everything in. A few lumps won't hurt, it's not a big deal because you're going to pop it in the oven anyway. So now I'm just, because I didn't use such a big pot, I'm going to just stir in ingredients slowly. So first the broccoli, just to make sure everything is evenly distributed, it's really simple. This is a quick recipe. It's really not that hard. Um, you just have to have the pots and stuff to be able to do it. Same thing with this rice. If had I used a bigger pot, I could have combined everything together. But because I didn't use a bigger pot, I'm just combining them slowly, you know, so that way everything can be evenly distributed, distributed and the cheese sauce can be throughout the entire dish. So as you can see here, I'm just doing that. Once I do that, I'm going to pour it. This is an 8x8 eight eight, uh, glass um, pan that 
is can go in the oven so I'm just slowly ladling that in and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven now keep in mind all of the ingredients are cooked uh, you're just pretty much broiling it so that's gonna sit in there for 30 minutes once it's done you're gonna open that oven let it sit for a little while pull it out and you will have this amazing broccoli and cheese casserole you can see there that the oven just baked the cheese at the top and it made it to the point where it's actually a casserole and not like a mushy goo which is what it looked like before it is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it and like I said it, it almost looks like a lasagna when it pulls out so gooey and delicious but still crunchy on the outside it was amazing to eat let me tell you I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick simple recipe and if you happen to make it be sure and tweet me or Facebook me I'd love to see your creation so I'll see you guys in my next one bye